I'd call the meeting to order for Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023. Please rise for the pledge. Alderman James Baltimore, lead us in prayer. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we come thanking you for another wonderful and beautiful day. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to be here. And Lord, we just ask that you bless all the citizens of Diasburg and other cities around us. And then we ask for your protection. We ask that you guide us and lead us and direct us as the aldermen and the mayor, mayor and aldermen and that we do uh, your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Let's item agenda approval of minutes. I entertain a motion to approve the minutes from December 19th, 2022. I'll move. Motion from Coach Coles, our second. I second. Second from James Baltimore. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, next item on the agenda, unfinished business. Is there any unfinished business? Next item, new business. Under new business, bids. Greg Williams. No bids tonight. Next item under new business, uh, this is uh, authorization of the mayor's tender of municipal trust and property to the newly elected board, exhibit one attached. So uh, obviously we had the election in November. We have one alderwoman that's retiring, not retire retiring, <laughs> chose not to run. Uh, and we appreciate her service, but uh, there are some things that we have to do According to our charter, we will do that and follow this process tonight. So if you would bear with me while we do this. Uh, so I'm going to read the authorization of the mayor's tender of municipal trust and property to the newly elected board, Exhibit 1 attached in your agenda. This is a resolution authorizing the mayor's tender of municipal trust and property to the new board of mayor and alderman members. Whereas this third day of January 2023, the board of mayor and aldermen of the city of Dysburg, elected from the general election of November 2022, will be formally instituted by sworn oath administered in accordance with the city's charter. Whereas said charter requires the formal tender of the city's trust and property to the new, newly elected board of mayor and aldermen by the outgoing board at the first meeting of said new board. Now therefore be it resolved by the board mayor and alderman of the city of Dyersburg elected during the general election of 2018 that Mayor John Holden shall be and is hereby authorized and directed this date to tender all right, power, and authority in and to the city's trust and property to the board of mayor and alderman of the city elected during the general election of 2022. Resolved this third day of January, 2023. Okay. Next item on the agenda, uh, we'll have the opportunity from communication from uh, retiring board me members. Megan. Sure. I just wanna express my gratitude for being able to serve on this board. I know I've said this before, but I'm especially grateful to be serving on such a diverse, open-minded, caring board, most especially, uh, most importantly, uh, my passion has always been for the community, and, uh, and so this, this has just been an, uh, an immense uh, learning opportunity and um, that I'm extremely grateful for, and uh, more so than that, you know, with most of the board, um, you know, staying here, I can, I can truly say that, you know, their passion is for the community as well, and so I am very uh, grateful for that and um, excited to see what, what happens next. So thank you very much. Hey, thank you, Megan. We, we appreciate your service to uh, this board and this city and the committees and all that you've done uh, for our city. Let's give her a round of applause, please. <laughs> thank you, Megan. We wish you the very best, you and Brian. Is Brian here? There's Brian. He's out there. Okay, so uh, thank you for all you've done. Brian, thank you, too, for being a part of this as well. Okay, thank you. Uh, next item on the agenda, presentation of certificates of election. I have done that. Each of the newly elected or re-elected aldermen uh, have these certificates of election. Um, so now at this time, uh, Judge Marquet's 29th Judicial Circuit Court will swear in and administer the oath of office to the new board members 
um, and we'll do it out front. We'll just do it in alphabetical order. Uh, Mr. Baltimore, if you want to go first, or if I go down there, and uh, your family members, anybody that's here with you, we'll do that down front. Sure. And Mark, thank you. Judge Hayes, thank you for being here tonight. solemnly swear or affirm to faithfully discharge all the duties of the office of alderman of the city of Dyersburg, Tennessee, and to support the Constitution of Tennessee and of the United States, and that you will have no contract, agreement, or understanding with anyone at any time to vote for any particular pers person or any office to be filled by this board. I do. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, sir. solemnly swear or affirm to faithfully discharge all the duties of the office of alderman for the city of Dyersburg, Tennessee, and to support the Constitution of Tennessee and of the United States, and that you will have no contract agreement or understanding with anyone at any time to vote for any particular person or any office to be filled by this board. I do. Congratulations. <laughs> swear or affirm to faithfully discharge all the duties of the office of alderman for the city of Dyersburg, Tennessee, and to support the Constitution of Tennessee and of the United States, and that you will have no contract, agreement, or understanding with anyone at any time to vote for any particular person or any office to be filled by this board. I do. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Rick? solemnly swear or affirm to faithfully discharge all the duties of the office of alderman for the city of Dyersburg, Tennessee, and to support the Constitution of Tennessee and of the United States, and that you will have no contract, agreement, or understanding with anyone at any time to vote for any particular person or any office to be filled by this board. Congratulations. And thank you. faithfully discharge all the duties of the office of alderman for the city of Dyersburg, Tennessee, and to support the Constitution of Tennessee and of the United States, and that you will have no contract, agreement, or understanding with anyone at any time to vote for any particular person or any office to be filled by this board. Thank you very much. Do you solemnly swear or affirm to faithfully discharge all the duties of the office of alderman for the city of Dyersburg, Tennessee, and to support the Constitution of Tennessee and of the United States, and that you will have no contract, agreement, or understanding with anyone at any time to vote for any particular person or any office to be filled by this board? Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you all. Would you raise your right hand, please? 
do you solemnly swear or affirm to faithfully discharge all the duties of the office of alderman for the city of Dyersburg, Tennessee, and to support the Constitution of Tennessee and of the United States, and that you will have no contract, agreement, or understanding with anyone at any time to vote for any particular person for any office to be filled by this board? I do. Congratulations, Thank you. Raise your right hand, yes, sir. Do you solemnly swear that you will fully support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Tennessee, and that you will well and truly serve the Corporation of Dyersburg, Tennessee, as mayor to which office you have been elected and the duties of which you are about to assume, and that you will endeavor to the best of your ability to perform all duties relative to or connected with such office? I will. Congratulations. Thank you. I believe that concludes my uh, duties. I hope you all got your money's worth. I'll do that. Thank you all again. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Okay, next item on the agenda. Uh, is the tender of municipal trust and property to the newly elected board exhibit three attached this is item 12 on the agenda so <coughs> let me read that mayor holden's tender of seized trust and property to the new board of mayor and aldermen dated today january 3rd 2023 pursuant to resolution of the board of mayor and aldermen of the city of dysburg elected during the general election of 2018 in section five of the city's charter, I, John Holden, do hereby tender all right, power, and authority in and to the city's trust and properties to the board of mayor and aldermen of the city elected during the general election of 2022. Okay, we need a motion on that? No, no, okay. All right, next item on the agenda, uh, new business. Under new business is the appointment of the corporate officers. This exhibit four attached. Let me read this. Chapter 6 of the City Charter provides that the newly elected Board of Mayor and Aldermen shall at its first meeting or soon thereafter as practic practicable elect a recorder and treasurer who shall ser serve as officers of the corporation. Their recorder and treasurer shall not be a member of the Board of Mayor and Aldermen of the City of Dyersburg. Uh, this is also uh, provided for in the Charter. At this time, I'd like to make a motion to uh, nominate Steve Anderson to serve again as City of Dyersburg Treasurer and Scott Ball to serve the City of Dyersburg Recorder. Second. Second from Ricky Hammond. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion passes, thank you. Congratulations, look forward to working with you gentlemen again. We all do, thank you. Next item on the agenda, adoption of First Citizens National Bank Banking Resolution. Security Bank Banking Resolution and Simmons Bank Banking Resolutions, Exhibits 5, 6, and 7 that are attached. Uh, these are in your agenda as well. So at this time, we have to um, authorize a resolution of these accounts at these banks. Each bank is listed separately. First Citizens in Exhibit 5, Security Bank in Exhibit 6, and Simmons Bank in Exhibit 7. So these are the accounts listed at the bottom, the account names at each bank uh, that we uh, have within the city that Steve Anderson oversees. Uh, we got these from uh, Steve, and we need a motion at this time. Any questions about this? I so move. Okay. Have a, so we're going to do all these at one time, okay? Five, six, and seven. So I have a motion from James Baltimore to accept the resolution for these accounts. Is there a second? Second from Madonna Webb. Any questions? Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. And that's it with all the formal items. Uh, next item on the agenda is a report from Alderman James Baltimore. I want to thank the citizens of Diasburg for 
reelected me again to uh, another four years as Alderman for Ward 2. I really appreciate you, and uh, I'll do the best to do the best I can to be the best I can. Thank you very much. Thank you. Edward? Uh, just a couple of quick questions. Did you know how much longer the late vacuum truck will be running to be through the end of this month? End of January, yes, sir. Uh, and then at the Finance Committee meeting we had back in December, Greg Wilson was wanting to have a meeting of the Street and Sanitation <laughs> Committee meeting this month, so I hope we schedule that. And then I would like to just thank the voters. Uh, we elected me in November to a second term, and during the past four years, to the best of my recollection, I've uh, attended all the board meetings, uh, all the committee meetings, for the committees that I'm on, and most of the other committee meetings too, since I'm retired and have the time. Uh, I hope to do the same during the next four years, and I look forward to working with this board and the mayor during the next four-year term. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Edward. Coach Cole? Just like, <clears throat> excuse me. Just like to say thank you to the residents of Ward 1 for having enough faith and trust in me to re-elect me to this position. I hope that I, I'm able to meet your expectations and do all that I can do for not only Ward 1, but the entire c city of Dyersburg. We deserve, you deserve the best, and I intend to give you my best. Okay, thank you. Rick? Uh, yes, I... This Rick. This Rick. <laughs> no, Rick's up here. We got, we got to come up with some kind of system. <laughs> Rick 1 or Rick 2. Does he, does he do that? <laughs> uh, I, I too uh, want to thank the voters of Dyersburg for the confidence that uh, they've shown in me uh, in electing me to this position. Uh, as I said during the campaign, uh, I intend to be a voice for all of Dyersburg and, and I still intend to do that. Uh, and uh, I, I want to thank those that uh, worked for me and, and supported me during this campaign as we knocked doors and and uh, had meetings and, and, and so forth, some of whom are in here tonight that uh, early on uh, let me know how much they uh, were supporting me. And, of course, that made me want to try a little bit harder out there. I want to thank my wife, who probably knocked more doors than I did, took more steps than I did on hot days uh, to help me to get to elected to this, this position. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with the mayor and uh, the other members of this board to move Dyersburg forward, and I know that's the intention of every one of them. So I, I just want to thank you for all of that. Okay, thank you, Rick. Okay, Rick. All right. <laughs> I would also like to thank all the voters in Ward 3. Um, I'd like to thank everybody that showed up here tonight. We usually don't have this big a turnout, but... <laughs> sure. And the department heads in this city that I've worked with the last four years, they, they've been phenomenal. Uh, I, I really do appreciate them. I already miss Megan, but I'm looking forward to working with Rick. Thank you all. Thank you. Dennis? I want to thank everybody for voting for me. I look forward to another four years of working with this board and uh, for let's keep Dyersburg moving in the right direction. Thank you. Thank you. Vanetta? Likewise, uh, I'd like to thank the, the voters of this city for allowing me to serve in, in, this, in this way. It's, it's truly an honor. Uh, I know I speak for the rest of the board when I say uh, reach out to us, contact us, let us know your concerns, the good and the bad. You're not bothering us. This is what you elected us to do. And uh, we look forward to serving this city for the next four years and working with the mayor and this board. Uh, the last four years has just been a, a wonderful learning experience, such a professional group of people. It's just an honor to, to, to work with them. Thank you, Vanetta. <clears throat> Thank you, Vanetta. And I, too, uh, want to share the same sentiment. I appreciate the, uh, the support and re-election through my fifth term. Let me mention my kids here. They got to vote for daddy for the first time. My daughter Whitby, my son Walker, attend college at Ole Miss, and uh, man, they've been here. I guess all they've known is their dad being the mayor, right? Ages five and three, so uh, thank you, I love you. Appreciate you coming here for this. <clears throat> I passed out uh, uh, to each of us here the addresses, phone numbers, email addresses of all the aldermen here. 
So everybody has that. I also pass out the City of Dinesburg Holidays for 2023. That can be found on our website and Facebook page. And also there's discussion about residential trash pickup holiday schedule as well. And I pass that out to each one of you. This is already on our Facebook page and on our website uh, for folks to uh, be able to access that. I talked to Greg today about the solid waste department meeting. We'll schedule that. Also, our audit is complete. Is that right, Steve? Our audit? Okay, audit's complete. I think Chloe will be here uh, January 16th to go over the audit. Uh, I think it was a good audit as well. So, Mr. Baltimore? Yes, I'd just like to thank all the citizens of Dallasburg who my mother-in-law passed a few nights ago, and so many of you all have called. She was 96 years old, and I appreciate, appreciate everyone uh, who called, uh, who thought about us, who prayed for us, and we, we really appreciate that. We were hoping that she would be here tonight. I was hoping she would live long enough to be here tonight to hold the Bible, but you know, God, you know how God, God is. God got control over everything. So thank y'all very much. And thank you. James, sorry for your loss, B. Sorry for your loss as well. Um, my wife, my wife, B. Right. Megan, again, thank you for your service to our city. Wish you and Ron the very best in your future endeavors. And we're always here if you need us, okay? Thank you all for coming. Congratulations to those that were uh, reelected and the new board member. I look forward to working with each one of you. With that, we're adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>